Hi, how's it going? Let's stop for a second in what you've, we've been talking about in terms of a prototype. And we're going to be looking at CSS Zen Garden as an example of creating a prototype for a client. Just as a quick disclaimer, I'm not expecting you to, uh, at this point in the course, to be creating a prototype of the website with different CSS styles linked in that the, that the client could then click on to see what their website would look like with different CSS styles. But what I would like us to do is is I'm expecting you to be sending your client a prototype. Maybe this would be an image. Maybe if you feel more comfortable at the moment, you could uh, create um, some HTML files that are linked together and share that with them. But at this point in week four, I'm, I, what I'm thinking that you might be doing when you're getting ready to make your prototype for your client is you might be sending them an image, showing them some examples of different font choices, showing them examples of different images, of different colors, and what their H1 tag could be uh, what their h2 tags could be is this stuff centered in the centered in a one column format is the navigation menu on the top and, or on the side you could be basically drawing them an image of what you're kind of thinking it would be and then you're sending that to the client to get their feedback but what I want to show here with the CSS Zen Garden as an example is this is just a way to hit home what we've been doing so far so far you've been kind of getting ready and building your sites based on just on the content itself or as in this section right here where I definitely recommend reading all of this but in this section the second section right here so what is this all about it talks about uh, this right here this is a very important sentence the code remains the same the only thing that has changed is the external CSS file what that what I'm what this really means is the co instead of saying code what we would say is the content would remain the same the only thing that's changed is the d design of the site or the styles of the site what I mean by that is this: these images is in terms of design, uh, this this font choice, um, these colors. This is all the design of the of the site, not the content. The content is separate from the design. It's very important for us to separate the content from the design. So by clicking these links over here, we will then on the fly switch the different designs of the website. So imagine if you did work in a web design firm, and this was a common practice, to send, to basically you receive the content from the client, which is just basically text, and then you could then work with them to have different styles chose out, different styles picked out that they could then choose from based on uh, designs that you've done. So let's take a second to look at these. So by clicking on this link here, we now have changed the the content is still the same. Remember that sentence. The code remains the same. The only thing that has changed is the external CSS. So the content is still the same, but the design of the site has changed. Again, the content is still the same. Only design of the site has changed. Okay, very important to understand because up to this point, we've been developing some of our content separate from our design. Imagine what would happen if you were to um, create, create a site based on the design first. You know, then what you'd be doing is you'd be trying to force all of this content into, sign a, in, into a mold that may or may not be what the client would actually want. So um, it's very important for you to be creating your content separate from the design of the site. Um, so I highly recommend exploring the CSS Zen Garden website, reading about this movement and why it's so important. Um, because, you know, this is an important thing for us to do. Uh, I mean, CSS is very important. We're going to talk about that more next week. But just to give you a little taste, you know, imagine if you were to develop this site. Like, let's look at something like this. What if you were to develop this whole site here without CSS? If you act, you could you could make this whole site here without CSS. But then, what would happen if this company needed to change their design? Imagine the overhaul that would need to be done to every single page that has this design. What CSS allows us to do is it allows us to have one file that controls the design of the site. So if your client comes to you and says, you know, I want to change our colors from brown to red, then all you have to do is make the change on one file and then it would then impact all of the other pages in the site. That's the purpose of, of CSS. Um, and that really helps us when it comes to when we're thinking about maintaining our websites in the future thinking about how they're going to be updated in the future instead of waiting to get to that phase of the web development life cycle it's good to be thinking about that 
here up front. And don't even necessarily wait to think about it when you start prototyping in the um, design and development phases. So again, I'm not expecting you to be uh, creating your the website, having it necessarily all linked together at this point, and then having different styles for the client to choose from by clicking different CSS sheets. I'm not expecting you to do that. Some of you may want to do that, and that's fine. Um, what I am expecting you to do is be sending your client um, ex example of their site, showing them what their navigation might look like, showing them how the format of the site might look like, showing them getting them cho chooses, allowing them to have choices of different fonts, allowing them to have choices of different colors and images. That's what I'm kind of expecting at this point. Um, because all you've been doing so far is you've been just working with the client to start building, thinking about the content separate from the design. So if you have any questions about this video, please uh, send them to me. I uh, look forward to answering them as we're all working together to make our sites. And definitely take a second and just explore the CSS Zen Garden. Enjoy. Have a good day.